Development of a Beltrami County Park is getting some help thanks to a collaboration between a nonprofit and the county. A shooting sports park is planned for an area alongside Highway 89 in Beltrami County. Lacey Montelion has more. The Northland Regional Sports Center has been in the works for quite some time. Early in 2007, the county, Beltrami County's Park and Trail Manager convened a task force and asked people who had been involved with shooting sports, shotgun, handgun, long gun, and other sportsmen, archery, uh, to come together just to talk about the possibility of creating a park like this. So far, not much has been developed. The only thing that's been done to date is from Highway 89, uh, there is a county spec road about a thousand feet, I believe it's feet, of county road that goes into the park proper itself. A grant from the Nielsen Foundation is getting them closer to their goal. Officials say the project has really been a team effort. I think that we've had um, one of the best multi-department cooperations that, that we've seen for sure on parks issues. Those involved in the park plans had to look at many different concerns, including environmental issues as well as sound issues. We're presently just finishing task one of the two task uh, uh, environmental services plan, stewardship plan. Once the park is completed, it will be more than just a place for the public to enjoy. Well, this is going to benefit us in the sheriff's office, but also the police department, the FBI, the BCA, the State Patrol, the Border Patrol, all the law enforcement agencies we have in the area. Hodap says being able to use this shooting range will relieve some strain on law enforcement. Currently, the Sheriff's Office has to travel out of the county oftentimes to do their firearms training, and that costs a lot of money. Hodap hopes with the new shooting range, those problems will become a thing of the past. Lacey Montelion, Lakeland News. The first phase of the shooting sports park is expected to be completed by the end of next summer. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.